Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, brothers and sisters. Hope you guys are well, inshallah. Today, I want to give you guys a reminder. I don't really like giving reminders that much. I'm here mainly to do dawah. Now, I want to share something with you guys, which you guys might know. Muhammad Al Sharif. Muhammad Al Sharif is the brother, a dai, somebody who lived in America or Canada, if I'm not mistaken, who started Al Maghrib Institute. And I can remember when I first came to Islam, I was actually taken to this course. And I learned about the signs of the Day of Judgment. And I myself personally benefited from this. When we heard his sudden death, which is a reminder to all of us, brothers and sisters, when we heard his sudden death, he had no illnesses, no underlying conditions, and he passed away. Now the question I want to ask you guys is this. When we hear the death of another believer, how as Muslims do you think we should act? Let's give some context. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, in Surah Taha, Taha, yeah? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells Musa alayhi salam to go to Pharaoh, and what does he say? Let's read it for ourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, listen carefully guys, go at you and your brother with my signs and do not, do not be slack in my remembrance. Go both of you to Pharaoh. He has indeed transgressed all limits. Listen carefully. He has transgressed all limits. So speak to him in soft words. Maybe he accepts advice or fears Allah. They said, our Lord, we fear that he will hasten against us or, we, or become more rebellious against us. He said, do not be afraid. I am surely with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about Musa alayhi salam and his brother Harun to go and speak to the worst of creatures who walk the earth, Pharaoh. And he says, go and speak with kind words. Now, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we know that once a Jewish person passed away. And what did he do? He got out, stood up, and the Sahaba said to him, O Messenger of Allah, it's not a Muslim that has passed away, it is a Jew. He said, was he not a human? Look at the Messenger of Allah, his attitude to a Jewish person passing away, and he just stands up out of respect. I want to read something for you guys, because this is one of the biggest diseases that we have in the Ummah, the cancer of the Ummah. I want to ask you guys a question, which Muslim in his right mind says the following? I'm going to read it for you guys. Yes, I'll probably send the screenshot as well. When, just is the, the screenshot is cut off, when he died, so Muhammad al-Sharif, may Allah have mercy on his soul and forgive him for his shortcomings. When he passed away, there was a group of Muslims who were rejoicing, saying, when he died, Ahlul Sunnah was so happy and joyous. They manifested their thanks to Allah. None of the Ahlul Sunnah could be found except that they were praising Allah. And this is the quote they used from the Salaf. Salaf, upon hearing the death of Ahlul Bidah, when the news of the death of Wahab al Qurayshi, a divin head of misguidance, reached Abdurrahman bin Mahdi, he said, All praise is due to Allah who has brought ease to the Muslims from him. And then this person, quote, who belongs to this filthy scum cult, who, when our dear brother Isa passed away, may Allah mercy on him, if they all were put together, they won't, be a, they won't even come close to his akhlaq with their filthy, disgusting attitude. What did they do? Before the guy was buried, what did they do? They started warning against him. The moment this brother who's died, who these jahils, these ignoramuses, this cult member who comes here, yeah? What does he, what did they say? Deviant Muhammad al-Sharif, look, look at this. Look at this. A believer who worshiped Allah, a believer who served his deen, a believer that these scums don't agree with. We know the people of innovation. Yes, the figureheads and those who the scholars have given a label to. Scholars, not jahils, who come here calling people Ahlul Bidah. 
you know, this person innovated, this person innovator. And when I change this, uh, this, I would be like, I don't want to give my good deeds to him. Yeah, this oppressor, this valim. When I told him, let's go to Sheikh Saleh Al Fawzan, unless if he uh, calls me a deviant, I'm going in October. I dare him to come. Yeah. A Muslim who has died, they backbite and are rejoicing and they are happy. They done the same with Sheikh Halabi when he passed away. Oh, alhamdulillah, they, wallahi, can you imagine? How does a believer laugh and be happy that another believer has died? What kind of a scum are you? What kind of a filth are you that another believer who worshipped Allah, who said La ilaha illallah, who tried his best to spread the message of Islam, that when he dies with your ignorance labeling people Ahlul Bidah, that you are happy that a believer died. This is the characteristics of a Khawarij. This is the characteristics. Khawarij were known for what? Their oppression, their hate towards the Muslims. And the, some of the Sahaba would save themselves from them by saying, you know, we are Christians and Jews. Because they know if they say they're Muslim, they're finished. They'll kill them. The reminder I'm giving today, brothers and sisters, Wallahi, these people are the most dangerous people. That Wallahi, if me, somebody else, was to pass away, Wallahi, I ask you guys to challenge. Go to this person over there, I don't even want to mention his name, who when Brother Isa passed away, may Allah have mercy on him, he would backbite him and say, oh, don't watch his videos. Go to him and ask him about Muhammad al-Sharif. Say, say, the guy's passed away. What's your thoughts? I challenge you. This is the cancer of our ummah, and that's all I wanted to say. That when a believer dies, we make dua for him. If it was somebody who was established by the scholars to be a person of innovation, that's a whole different story. Qualified scholars who define who's an innovator is not an innovator. Not a jahil who comes to the park, who has no qualifications, labeling people Ahlul Bidah. And then on top of that, his cronies that follow him, that when the person passes away, how could any Muslim be happy when a Muslim dies? Really, what lie? Would you guys be happy if another Muslim dies? Never. These people rejoice and are happy that when another believer they die, because of their misguided attitude, they think this person is an innovator and they get happy and say, let's celebrate. They are now celebrating the death of this person. And the only kind of people that you see who are not mentioning this person, look, Mufti Meng, myself, Muhammad Hijab, Ustad Adnan, Mansoor, everyone in the Dawah scene is making dua, Allah forgive the sins, and may Allah mercy on him for the benefits that he gave to the Ummah. Do you know the only ones that are silent? And you know what their silent is? Wallahi, they are silent. And the only reason they're silent is because if they speak out, they know they're going to be exposed. Yeah? They know they're going to be exposed. I challenge anyone to go to this, this guy, this individual, and ask him about Muhammad al-Sharif. What do you say about him? Wallahi, uqsim billah, you're going to see him warning. Warning against him, talking against him, backbiting him as usual. May Allah protect us from the deception of shaitan. For these brothers think that they are going to stand in front of Allah and Allah is going to put them in Jannah by saying, oh yeah, what did you do? Oh, we was upon the sunnah. Oh, mashallah. How many people did you backbite? How many people did you slander? Yeah, how many lives did you destroy because of your ignorance? How many? The Salaf said, we would rather stand in front of Allah with 70 sins between us and him rather than a sin that we wrong somebody else. And they think they're going to enter their grave and they're going to enter paradise. May Allah forgive them and enter them to paradise. Show me the one hellfire for anybody. That they're not going to stand in front of Allah and say, the people that you backbited and slandered and lied against. The biggest deception of shaitan. And these bro brothers are in it. Shaitan has deceived them to such a level that they think backbiting someone that they, unqualified, being unqualified, labeling that people in a person of innovation, they believe they get rewarded for backbiting. May Allah protect us. Wallahi, this is not the Islam that we follow. And may Allah protect them from them, inshallah. Till next time, may Allah bless you guys, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah protect us from this evil matkali cult. These cults, yeah, these individuals who come and do nothing but attack the believers and are happy and rejoicing when they die. May Allah protect us from this cancer, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.